Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And I was trying to help a gentleman the other night on Facebook. And then I noticed he did reply. I asked him to email me the file, but he didn't. He, so I hope he sees this because I, now I can't find his Facebook uh, post. But he was drawing these lines. And as he duplicated them over, they would change from a hairline. And evidently what he's trying to do is make a protractor and where he could take a pencil and put it between the grooves of this line. Now, he gave me the dimension, if I remember right, at 0.0625. And there's, and he was telling me he was just, well, what he was doing, he was taking two lines and then changing his nudge distance to 0.0625 and making a duplicate of that and then moving it over and then taking a ellipse that's, let's hold down the control button, and making the lips 0 0.0625. I've got my ratio lock, so it's going to both be the, the same. And then, and then you could take and just put this on top. Well, that must not have. No, my nudge factor is 0 0.0625. So I need to delete this. So I take this line and go Control D and then make a duplicate. And then he was taking this ellipse or circle. And if you would grab it from that corner, it it will snap to that corner. And then you just have to do that on both ends and then deleting, you know, taking, evidently you're taking the virtual segment delete key and deleting this and to getting the circle. But then he was saying that it messes up when he rotates it around. And I don't totally understand. I hope I can find his video or his post so I could show him how I made this line. So I'm just going to take a line. And I'm going to make that line. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to change my lines. To, I normally have it on points. I'm going to change it to inches. And I'm going to make my line 6.25. Now what you have to do to make this work. Let's zoom in here. And also let me back up. And let's do the same thing again. 0.625, but let's go right here and give it round cap. So your end of your line will have a round cap. Now with that selected, you need to go to range and convert this ob to an object, convert the outline to an object. Then you can go to effects and contour. We're going to contour to the outside 0.001. And you'd have to play with this, and I'm not sure a pencil is going to get down there. So we drew a contour around that line in black so we can see it. We're going to go to a range. We're going to break the contour apart. We're going to take our new line, and then we're going to take this one, and we're going to left click, right click, and there's our line finished, perfect, ready to go. And all I did to make the protractor, let's just delete these. And this is somewhat what he had it looking like. If you have Snap 2 on and you get it, you know, pretty close to the bottom of the line. And he had them in 35 degree increments. So I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. Double click and move my rotation to the very far edge of that protractor edge. And then I'm going to rotate it 35 degrees. Well, that's not right. Let's do it again. Control D. Oh, 15 degrees. I'm sorry. I just got through doing this. It's only 15 degrees. Because he wants, well, we'll just show you. He wants 15. Then he would duplicate again, which will be 30. Duplicate again will be 45. Duplicate it again. And, and to check your rotation, go one more in that bottom line ought to be on top of that line and it ought to be on that side of that line. Now to maybe make it perfect, let's just let's do it perfect. I'm a little anal when I come to this type stuff. Because that is snapped to, it's snapped to one side of the line or the other. So let's put it in the middle. 
and there's probably a couple ways to put it in the middle and I got pretty close and it's going to be hard to put it in the middle but let's do this let's just draw a new line and I made that line 12 inches long let's delete this original line and this way it's perfect <clears throat> and then select that one hold down your shift key select that one and hit C and it put it in the center of that line. I just hit the letter C on the keyboard. Now we've got that line. Let's take another two point line holding down my control button. Let's make this one 12 inches long. Grabbing it right here with the four, when you get to the four points and just have it snap to that other line. Now let's combine both those. So shifting and I'm not getting the circle line. I'm just getting the two straight lines. I'm going to go to range and combine them. Now I'm going to get my, my circle line is what I'm going to call it, pencil line. Control D, double click on it, move my rotation to the corner of that, and let's rotate it at 15 degrees, 15 degrees. And look what happened. We're perfectly in the center of that line so that our angles are correct you do not want that one probably there and you probably don't want that one there well we deleted the wrong one or i did <clears throat> and a lot of times if you ever have trouble deleting uh, lines like that because it's going to be really hard to get that one but we did i was going to show you another way you could <clears throat> let's just go back and if you were really having trouble doing it you can make your nudge factor two inches Grab that, nudge it over two inches, grab that one and lead it, grab this one and nudge it back. And then it's right back where it was. So there's a correct protractor. I hope he's able to find this uh, page. And he actually had it further out. My, my lines are a little bit too long. But that would work. I would have to do some testing to see if a pencil line would go between there. But let's just test our line. And I'm going to back up here and get that one line to test because you want it perpendicular. Let's get our two point, our parallel dimension tool and go right from that edge to the right to that edge. And we're going to be a little bit thick. We're 6.45. But that's because we, uh, you know, did our contour. And I might have started off a little bit thick because while ago when I did it, it was, it was perfect. Yep. So start off with a little bit thinner line, but I guarantee that's that's going to be hard to get a pencil between there to start with. Anyway, I hope that was a little bit of insight for y'all, and maybe he'll find this video or I'll find his full Facebook page and show it to him. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.